Audrey and Lolo are childhood best friends who venture off to China to find one of their birth mothers. The adventure gets more hectic when Lolo's cousin Deadeye and Audrey's friend from college Cat join the party. This mission is far from an easy one, as the four friends are faced with obstacles, legal trouble, and outright debauchery. This is Joyride. <laughs> Joyride is a new R-rated comedy, and is produced by Seth Rogen, so if he's giving his stamp of approval on anything, you just know what kind of film you're getting into. As I mentioned in my No Hard Feelings review, it's really nice to see R-rated raunchy comedies come back to the theatrical experience. And I definitely mean that even more so with this film. Because Joyride definitely lives up to its name. This is my kind of comedy, raunchy, gross, in-your-face, chaotic, relentless, all the while having a surprising amount of heart. Yeah, that last part actually surprised me. The performances the leading ladies give in this film do not miss. Ashley Park, Sherry Cola, and Stephanie Hsu are all phenomenal in this film. Each of their respective characters is extremely funny and unique. And by that, I mean each character has a different personality and quirks that make for really funny reactions to the situation at hand. And to top it all off, they just have really good chemistry with one another. But if you ask me, the scene stealer was Sabrina Wu. Everything they do is pure random chaos, and I loved it. And also, this is semi-related to the cast of the film. I mean no disrespect to this person. I think they're awesome, but man, after the amount of memes I've seen them in, this was a jump scare. I'm not gonna spoil it, because his presence in the movie alone was so funny to me. When I say this film is relentless, I mean that in every sense of the word. Once the characters get to China, it does not feel like the film gives you enough time to breathe. And that is the perfect kind of comedy to me. Every notable antic-filled moment does not feel less than the one that just happened. In fact, it almost seems like they step it up every time, doing something even crazier and more degenerate-like, and that to me is the perfect kind of comedy. I can't remember the last comedy I saw that just nailed comedic progression like this. It's definitely something that can be difficult for some films, but this film definitely nails it. Another thing this film nails is that throughout all the raunch and debauchery is that there is a surprising amount of heart. Now, this is near the end of the film and when the film slows down the comedy just a little bit, but I think that was for the best. Because the emotional hit to the film is surprisingly well done. Like, I genuinely felt my eyes start to water up because of the scene at hand, which blew my mind because I totally saw this twist coming. But the writing, the directing, the acting of this scene just worked so well, it almost seemed as if they forgot what kind of movie they were making, but in the long run, it worked so well, I didn't really care. I tell ya, I should not have been on the verge of crying in the same film the girl from Everything Everywhere All at Once shoves drugs up her asshole. If that's not good writing, then I guess I don't know what is. Now, I do have one minor nitpick that does kind of circle back around to a positive. There's a conflict in the movie that just kind of gets fixed a bit too quickly and a bit too unrealistically. Potentially unrealistically. I am kind of an idiot and would probably overthink something like this, when in reality it's actually a very easy fix. But this nitpick is really nothing movie ruining. In fact, I almost think it adds to the film. That's kind of where I start to look past it and kind of appreciate the film as kind of a live action cartoon in a way. From the characters to the antics the characters ensue, it's really nothing that would be out of place in a cartoon. And I'll be damned if this film isn't everything I want out of a comedy film. It's extremely funny, the cast is great, and the antics the film ensue are as crazy as they are memorable. I can definitely recommend you check this one out. I hope you all enjoyed this review, and if you did, please consider hitting that like button, and if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to be notified when my next review drops. Until next time, I'm Quint Dunaway, hoping you will keep it cinematic.